Hi, I'm Nicholas J. Leach. Welcome to Camera Pro. I'm the producer of Fish TV, Living Wild, RCTV, and other outdoor programs. But that's not what this is about. This is about my blogging desk. My blogging desk is a desk I designed and mounted three consumer cameras on and two lights. What I'm trying to do here during these blogs is find out what are the best three consumer cameras I can mount on this desk to create a great online presence. Now, I'm going to be mounting all sorts of equipment on this desk and trying to find the best combination. Now, that might be a little more difficult than you think. Consumer cameras are typically harder to match. They have different looks, different levels of sharpness, and you turn them on and that's your white balance. Anyway, I want you to join me as I discover what the best combination of equipment is. And along the way, I'm going to give you other production tips. So, let's learn together. Check, one, two, three, four, check, one, two. Hey, welcome to Video Selfie Studios. Right now, I'm gonna talk to you about audio. Right now, you're listening to audio through the Zoom Q4. It has manual audio levels. You can plug in the microphone to the back. It has a jack on the back that lets you monitor your audio through headphones. And that's the way audio should be on a video camera. But this camera is designed specifically for audio. I'm not that happy with the image, quite honestly. Only the 1080 codec really works. Let's get right down to it, though. Audio on sports cameras. Uh, generally, people don't realize you can plug microphones into sports cameras. It takes a little bit of paraphernalia. And we're going to take a look at the audio on the GoPro and the audio on the Sony sports camera. Now, for the GoPro, you have audio through one of these adapters you can buy at the store, 20, 30 bucks. It's simply a USB in on one end and a mini plug on the other end. So what you do is you can plug in your microphone, like so, and then take your GoPro Plug it into the mini USB on the bottom here. We're going to do just that. And that's how you plug that into that. You're also going to need a accessory known as a GoPro frame because you're not going to be able to access that through your GoPro case. With the Sony, you're also going to use, need an additional case. This is the skeleton case. And it comes apart like that. You plugged in the mic in the bottom there. So you have to get this door open and access the input there through the bottom. You see the red, the um, red input for microphones. And we're going to plug that in there. And you got to go through the bottom of the case. Really kind of finicky. Pull that wire through there. And easy as one, two, six, seven, twelve. You have that plugged in. Now, the microphones I'm using are Sennheiser microphones. Uh, the what you're listening to right now is through a wireless system. And of course, my sports cameras are directly plugged in. Sennheiser EW100 wireless system and you're listening to a microphone that comes with that system. The same microphones are connected to my sports cameras. So let's turn them on and see what we have here. And boom. We are recording on the hero. There you go. And you're hearing audio through the hero. 
This is a Hero 3. Okay, and turn on the Sony. Just gotta hit the button at the bottom there. And as soon as you start, as soon as you start your recording. Now you're recording through the Sony. There we go. So now you have audio from the Zoom, audio from the Hero 3, and audio from the Sony sports camera. And to test the audio, I'm going to give you a little read from the story of Rocca Mancha, a story for kids available at X10 Productions 428 and the RCTV channel. And here we go. Rocca Mancha was driving down the road one day. He was feeling mighty fine. He had just purchased a blue sombrero for his new quest. A quest he'd been put on by Mayan witch doctors to go into the jungle to get the senna plant. They needed the plant for the upcoming flu season. Okay, there's your audio and we're going to go to the edit suite now, check out the audio and see what the results are. Hey, I'm back from the edit suite and I gotta tell you, I'm really happy with the audio from the GoPro. Nice, clean audio. Plug in a professional microphone to the GoPro and you're gonna have some good results. The Sony, on the other hand, seemed to have a little bit more background audio and I gotta give the nod to the GoPro in this case, in the GoPro versus the Sony. I hope this information helps you. See you again soon. Bye. There you go, the power of editing, a different shirt. A little amendment to my video blog. I wanna show you the timeline from uh, my editing suite here. Here you see that the Sony waveform is peaking. You see how it's all flat at the top? It means there's no room, too much gain, uh, distortion is happening. So what I'm gonna do is try this. A different microphone with a negative 10 dB filter. I'm gonna see if it's the microphone and see if that makes any difference. As you see, it's making no difference whatsoever. It's still peaking, it's still flat at the top, and we're still getting distortion. Well, it is automatic level, so that does make sense. Oh, hi. Thanks for watching our clip. Do me a favor, will you? Subscribe to our channel. Better yet, leave a comment. Call me a jerk. I don't care. Say something. Give us some feedback. And thank you for watching.